Indigenous communities that we police enjoy having police officers come to the school and provide pre presentations. And then like you see the, the children or youth biking around the community, they're on four wheelers and they're just engaging in the community. So you just go out and talk to them and the kids just they love that, honestly. Do education with the, the children and I try to get to know them uh, in a more personal setting. And uh, that's one way. The other way is just attending all the community events to the best of our ability and just to show them that we're also there during the good times as well. It's nice to just go to those community things and just show them that I'm relatively normal um, and that I, you know, I can I can show up to things where it's a positive and I'm not, I don't just always show up where the bad things are happening. Um, it's also I really like to get out too just to see the kids. So yeah, I just want to show them that you know. I, I don't just, again, I don't just come on the bad times and that I show up to all the other things too. And you know, when I speak with community members at these community events, like it's usually, you know, they're having a good day and they're not needing police. So I'm able to just like have conversations with them and build relationships with them in those things. So then when a call does come um, through for them, then at least, you know, they're like, hey, she's, she's good. The unique thing about being a NAPS officer is that uh, getting to know the public and actively being a part of the community it's important as a police officer to be there for the community and let them knowing that we're there for them. I would say it's the primary reason I got into policing in the first place. Like I grew up in a town of about 1300 people and we always saw the police officers out in the community. Um, so it just gives you like a peace of mind almost to know that these great officers are out there and they're going to be the ones attending calls for services if you need them. Um, so. I, Personally, I feel like it would make me feel a lot better knowing that officers who engage in the community and know a lot more about the community are the ones that are showing up to the calls for service and that you, you just know they're going to do something and they're going to help you out at the end of the day. Like de-escalation is a big, big thing, right? So you want them to trust you. You want them to be comfortable when you get there. You want them to, um, yeah, you want them to just be able to trust you because trust comes with de-escalation and de-escalation comes with a good call.